so hello everybody welcome back to another video today I'm going to show you my design for a large but somewhat portable Bluetooth speaker so um here's the back of the unit itself it it was an Alltech Lansing ADA 995 subwoofer you can tell right there ADA 995 that I converted because the amplifier blew up. So I took out the entire board. That's what that piece is. The board was resting in that. And I took out the power supply and everything, transformers. And I changed it out with this. So I put in two UB 1250s, so 12 volt 5 amp hour batteries. Um, my dad's work has abundances of these so just use them they fit extremely tightly in there which is good keeps them from busting is bad and I took these pipes out you can just I don't think the camera can focus on that you can see the cones there I've actually got the original subwoofer cones in on the front and I've got the original satellite speakers wired up now if you're wondering how I split the frequencies I just have some crossovers from Amazon some audio pipe CRX 303s there CRX 303s got two of those and the speakers the satellites since they're mid-range and treble I use some twisty tie or crimp tie wire attaches excuse me to hook it to the mid-range and, tw and tweeter section of the crossovers on each channel now here's my amplifier board, it's one of those 50 watt 2 channel amp boards, but it worked great yesterday, but I wired these two batteries in series, because I thought, oh I could charge it with my Razor scooter charger through this charging port that I also bought on Amazon for the Razor scooter at 24 volts, I charge them at 24 volts, because I don't have any other chargers I'm pretty sure, for batteries I don't want to go out and buy one for, you know, 50 bucks or whatever they cost so I tried powering up the amplifier on 24 volts because it said it was it could work on 25 volts and it turns out it broke so now we're gonna have to order another $20 amplifier board they, it did work great while I had it though it actually the range lasted all the way until I got up the stairs sorry about all these clothes I'm getting ready for some sort of yard sale or something but this amp sounds great it's just don't put 24 volts on it because it broke it sounded great while I played it on 12 volts we tested it on a single battery it's really tiny it's only a credit card size there's a audio jack right there there's the Bluetooth there you go. bring it into focus there we go but, as you can tell, we're going to buy a new one of these, don't worry about it. But it won't power up anymore, it won't make any sound, it just died with a big pop, and then stopped working. I tested the speakers on my regular receiver over there, it worked just fine. Came with this case, but we're getting a new one just like it because the buttons are elevated on this model. It has a headphone jack as well, which is nice if you want to plug in your phone to set a Bluetooth in it. But yeah, I learned that the hard way and I don't want you all to go through the process of losing a $30 amp and waiting another week for it to ship because it ships from Nevada. <sighs> but yeah. That's my Chronicles of Pain. The charging port actually smells like it burnt but I tested it with a multimeter and the continuity is still there so it's something else, but it sounds great, honestly, while well, we tested it. It sounded absolutely brilliant. Tested it on 112 volt battery. So now, instead of using that charger, just being able to plug and play with charging, we'd have to take off the back panel and put it into... have to put it into series to charge it. I might have some 12 volt bricks around the house, though. But, yeah, learn from my mistakes. 
This is about to conclude part one of my Bluetooth speaker build. Don't worry, this series will continue later on with more videos on detailing my setup of this thing. But yeah, if your Alltech Lansing ADA 95, 995 blew up and you don't know what to do with it, it's probably just sitting in your closet. I suggest doing this upgrade to it to make it into a Bluetooth boombox. Future plans include casters on the bottom and perhaps um, a better way to charge it. I might have just a. I might actually be able to cram some 12 volt bricks in there and have an outlet splitter, and you just plug an extension cord up to the back of it. And it'll charge both batteries. But those are my future plans for it. Think about parallel wiring, but for now I'm going to keep, play it safe and only wire it on one each time. So yeah, anyway guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you're wondering about that, that's my mom's old, old, old computer. It runs Windows XP and it's an AMD Athlon 64. Yeah, ancient. I know. Speaker. This my backpack just laying there dead to me. <laughs> but yeah. So that concludes part one of the Bluetooth speaker brain blower outer build log and learn from my mistakes. Do not overvolt this amp or consider buying a different amp. This is the Insma fifty watt amp with the uh, in the high configuration version is what they call it or something. But yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Alex Wilson 225 signing off. See you all later. Bye.